You're watching Patadendron, and in today's video, we're checking in with Martina's Nursery. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and if you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Patrick, and I'm a houseplant enthusiast, and I love tropical houseplants, cacti and succulents, and carnivorous plants. So if you want to see how I slowly build the botanical garden of my dreams in my very own home and backyard in a very slow manner, then I suggest you consider hitting subscribe in today's video. I'm excited to be back. As you know, if you're not new to my channel, one of my favorite places, we're at Martina's Nursery and uh, they are fully stocked with a ton of new plants. So let's go check out what they have this time. What do you know? It's an awesome day to be here. <laughs> it always is. These, um, look at these four inch micans for $15. They're nice and full. They're not like single vines. They have like multiple growth points in there. Look at these Ipomeas. Um, I think they're sweet potato vines. That one dead or dying leaf is so pretty. <laughs> Alocasia polys for $20. You know what? I haven't been seeing a lot of these. And they also have um, string of hearts for 20. String of turtles for 25. And then some string of arrows. So funny, the string of arrows give me like perfect hearts. And the hearts are more like a um, string of kidneys. <laughs> a string of watermelons. Lots of string of. Here's another arrow. Ooh, okay. I found the mother load of <laughs> string of arrows. String of spades. And then um, the Serapegia linearis, which is the string of needles. Look at it. Wrapping around the hanging thing. That's so cool doing that, where the way it, it climbs up and trails down also. Ooh, mine's just trailing down. Maybe I should tra train mine up to go up there, up that thing. <laughs> Look at these huge, I'd say eight inch hanging pots of Crimson Princess. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I want like big hanging pots of these all over. <laughs> Those didn't have prices, but um, these six inch ones are $20. So the, they have um, the Crimson Queen, some really beautiful all white leaves. This one has like really pretty variegation spot one really awesome leaf. Look at that. Isn't that leaf cool? $20. And, oh, they do have some Crimson Princess right there. Um, this new Carnosa leaf, though. That looks really cute. And then um, some ripples, 
or crinkle eights. And then the lachinosa. Pubicalyx. The pubicalyx is 25. Um, well, some are 20, some are 25, so maybe one's just, um, one's like a red buttons or something. <laughs> maybe red buttons. They're not like long and skinny and splashy like the Royal Hawaiian Purple. <laughs> you know what grew on me that's really cute that I would like now is the uh, Hoya Chelsea. That's a cute Carnosa. Even like regular Carnosas now. I'm like, hmm. Cute. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you where you don't really pay any attention to certain plants and then all of a sudden you're like, okay, yeah, I need it. <laughs> or is that just a me thing? Beautiful Philodendron Brazil, $35 for that. Got some goldfish plants, uh, $12 for the, these six inch um, orbifolias. That's really good. I love when new leaves come out. Ficus tanicas, just beyond these ferns. <laughs> these ferns are $12 too, by the way. I think these are all $12 actually. But these red metallic begonias are catching my eye. So cute. Birkins. This one's not 12. <laughs> These are tw 25. But um, my outside Birkin is doing so well. It's so happy. And I'm uh, really happy with it too. <laughs> Homolomina. Emerald gem for 15. Some fatsias. Ooh, this really pretty Persian shield. The begonias I got here last time are, have been doing so well. So I'm back for more. <laughs> Syndapsis pictus exoticas. They're all $20. These never get old. These are really cute and interesting. I never really see these. Shoot, I don't even know what these are. These have like a cool metallic sheen on the leaves. Some string of nickels. And then more of these begonias. This is kind of what um, drew me in here. I saw that they had uh, my special angel begonias. And that is these. These begonias have been such a joy to grow. Um, really easy. They're all seven dollars each. I might pick up another one. And look at these. These have like a nice kind of like iridescent sheen to them. Um, Rex begonias usually do have that iridescence to them, but there's something different about this. It's kind of like 
mottled or I don't know, but I like it. <laughs> More Brazils. Step away from the Brazil. Ooh, look at that leaf. There's so much to look at. Look, they have the more of these eight inch. <laughs> Philodendron micans. I love mine. Mine's grown so much. It really is like my favorite of all the micans because of all the growth points. It's just so full. <gasps> Whoa. That's a cool strand of Dyskidia iowantha variegata. It's almost like a sport of it. Little half moon Dyskidias. Ooh. Full moon. Do you see those all white leaves? And then I got really excited for these two. Syndapsis pictus argyreus. I can never have enough of these, and this is like a nice, big, full pot. This is $40. It's in an 8-inch pot, but look, it's just like bursting with growth. <laughs> it's going to look so nice and long once it trails, which won't be long because they grow so fast. I would definitely get one of these if I didn't already have like such a huge trailing one at home. Ooh. There's more gigantic philodendron Brazils for $35. <laughs> My favorite Brazil is growing outside. And I can grow more. Look at that. Isn't that cool? This is a cool vine. This like almost reverted all the way back to... Oh. <laughs> to a philodendron lemon lime. I'm seriously considering another one. I'm crazy. And if Brazils aren't your type, they have regular green. Another one that doesn't really get old to me. Just seeing how well my, um, my micans grew in that same size pot makes me really tempted to have another one of these Brazils in that same. Because that growth is just, wow. Whoa. I feel like every time I come, these ficus umbelatas get bigger. Or maybe they're, maybe they're different plants. <laughs> but. Same with these alocasia. They're getting huge. And then, um, I love these Tenanthi Lubercianas. These are $50. So pretty. Look at all the spider plants with all the babies. And then um, 
all these lipstick plants too. I love my lipstick plant from here. I have a variegated one or like part of it is variegated and it's so cool. Bunch of adeniums, adenium, obesum. I like that these have labels, so you know what the flower will be. You kind of know what you're getting. See? Adenium white, adenium yellow. I still don't know what I'm doing with mine. I'm so glad I got it on clearance. <laughs> Although, see, now I have the excuse. Is it not doing well because I got it on clearance? We'll never know. And that's okay. I love that they have a ton of four inch Hoyas. Like, look at this cubic calyx. It's just. So full and lush for a four inch pot. And they also have Epiphyllums, the queen of the night. $20, which is good. I've seen them for a lot higher, so. Try to Scantias, and then, oh, there's a cool plant right there. Check these out. Never see um, Pelionia pulchra. And one of my favorite plants right now is the Pelionia davawana. So I'm liking Pelionia. It's so beautiful, very underrated. And I think these are only $6. Seven, okay. <laughs> Ooh, almost missed all of these. Coleus. <laughs> Some fun colors. So I thought I'd try Coleus out to see if I'd like it more than Tradescantia. But you know what? No, I don't. I like Tradescantia more. Um, but that's just because my coleus died. <laughs> so there's that. I might have to try it again. Wow, those pots are only $8 and they're huge. That's really good. Always have to check out the cacti and succulents while we're here. These are so cute. Echeveria puladonis. Puladonis? Donis. How beautiful and striking these Senecio are. So bright. I almost need sunglasses just to look at them. I found one cute cactus. Check this out. I love the little tufts of spikes at the end. I don't know if these are the regular, you know, um, flagelliformis because mine doesn't have the like extra tufts of spikes at the end. And I find that to be really cute. It reminds me of like an animal of some sort, like a desert rodent. <laughs> um, like if you've ever gone camping at Joshua Tree, those cute mice that they have with weird like random tails with the tufts at the end. 
If I remember correctly, that's what those remind me of. <laughs> Make a wish. Check these out. This is this discolor. That's like a plant that I never see often enough. I think they're so cool. They remind me of like a Willy Wonka plant. <laughs> Something you'd see in the chocolate factory. From my experience, it's been kind of hard to keep pretty. So I haven't figured that out yet. I'm loving that new growth though. Isn't that beautiful? So this is neither a begonia or a rex begonia. <laughs> it's um, actually a cissus, which is a member of the grape family. Isn't that cool? And these originate from the island of Java. Ooh, check these out. Okay. They have Ficus triangularis variegata for $10 each. So good. I got mine at Steve's Leaves for $30. And these variegated string of pearls are 20. Well, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. I had so much fun. Um, it was a really good day. They had some really nice big plants. I was tempted to get that um, huge crimson princess as well as one of those huge Brazils, but I didn't. I did get a few things. So um, I got some begonias. Are you shocked? <laughs> Um, I'm not sure if this one's the uh, my special angel actually. It's a little different from the one that I have. So I don't think it is. I think it's just a spotted begonia. And I also got this Pelionia pulchra. I thought it was so cool looking and I'm loving my Davawana so much that um, I was compelled to get another Pelionia. Might be one of my new favorite um, genuses. And then I got this other really pretty begonia. I thought it looked so cool. It was nice and kind of just like frosty. I really like the colors and yeah, just reminded me of like the frosty with the begonia looking glass, like all in one. I don't know, I loved it. And $7 each, you can't beat that for um, the prices. So yeah, I had a lot of fun and I hope you did too. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Please throw me a bone and give me a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of my plant videos, which I hope you do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You made it this far into the video. So thank you for that. Um, and then I can't wait to see you in the next video. I just don't want to miss you too much. So if you could show me some love in the comments and I'll meet you there. Bye.